Hello, it's Nick here again, and today we'll be having a nostalgic look back at the magnificent stunt car racer uh, for the Commodore Amiga by MicroStyle, developed by Jeff Crammond back in 1989. Um, now, this game is divided into a number of separate leagues. You do multiplayer against um, someone else connected to another computer. I don't think I ever was able to do that. Now, here's the leagues. Um, obviously, I'm in Division 4 there, which you start off with. And you've got to keep getting promoted to the next league through each season. At the start, you just have pretty pathetic opponents, it has to be said. Uh, Roadhog and uh, Jumping Jack there. But they do get a bit better. The Max Boost there, otherwise known as um, Bruce Forsyth. Uh, let's go straight into the racing season. Let's not muck about here. Now, although this is an older game... Um, the realism on it, or the feeling you get on it, um, the polygons, uh, makes it um, quite good. But the little ramp is the first race. I think too complicated here. You see, it's a bit like um, driving on a roller coaster uh, without any rails. I've got to stay on this narrow strip of track all the way around, which is easier said than done, and also beat my opponent. I get points for the best lap and we're in the race, of course. Uh, looking on the left, my opponent's raced off already. Uh, looking down on the left there, we're on lap 1, L1, I've got 32 boosts left, like nitro to make myself go quicker. Uh, distant ometer under that, so you can see my opponent at the moment is about 100 metres in front of me. But he's well in our sights. Of course on the right is the timer ticking up. And this is the most difficult bit of the track here, the little ramp. It's all about getting the right speeds. But um, should be able to beat him. As you can see, look, he's got um, square wheels. If you lose against a car which has got square wheels, um, I think you should give up. This bit sometimes a bit tricky. A little gap. What we are? About 19 metres. See if we can jump over in here. Woo! Yeah, we still got it. Uh, there's a big straight coming up at the end of lap one. But we should power past him quite easily here. There we go. Goodbye. Right, see the distance ometer now has gone to a minus. So he's 74 metres behind, 125, 156. So we quickly pulled out a 200 metre lead. And I don't think he's going to get that back. But of course, got to um, remain concentrated the whole time so we don't drive off the track, which is quite easy to do. And then the car was sustained quite a lot of damage. And then we'd have to wait for the crane to put us uh, back up again. Which, um, as I say, once that happens, your chances of winning are, are, are remote. Uh, on the right hand side at the bottom there you see 54.18 that's the best lap so far that was just from the start, standing start so I should be able to uh, go quick on this next lap round uh, you awarded two points for actually winning the race for this three lap race and one point um, for the fastest lap and how it works is uh, we're currently in division four the bottom league uh, from this league of course um, the, the winner is promoted into the next league up, which is Division 3, of course. And then, um, as you go further through the game, um, the, the winner goes to the next league and the loser gets relegated. But no second chances. Whatever happens, happens. And then you um, have to either replay the league again or get promoted there, or, or in fact go down. But there isn't a Division 5, so even if we lose both races here, um, we should still overall win. But as I say, the opponents here, Roadhog, which um, looks a bit like um, John Major and um, Jumping Jack are all pretty slow as you can see I'm already 750 yeah, 800 about one that for about 800 metres which is a, a fairly um, a fairly convincing win I would say the crowd are delighted they cheer he's won his first race race lap race time best lap there we go so I'm the winner so I've got two points and one point so I've raced one of my races so far so that I'm in pretty good stead the other's done more than me. So, jumping jack now on the humpback. No real jumps here. That humpback, you can get a bit of air on it. Okay. Had quite a lot of boost left on the last race as well. So, quite a lot of hand. Because in later leagues, of course, you'd need the boost a bit more to um, catch up. Because they do tend to get a bit fast. Right. I'll lull him into a full sense of security here. He's been racing off like last time. To pull him back. Oh, mind you, though, he's gone about almost 200 metres ahead, isn't he? There. Right, this is the humpback. 
I mean, as I say, for the for the day, this is um. You really feel like you're going over the bumps in this car, the suspension and everything, despite um the graphics of the car in front having those, as I say, square wheels. Used to waste a lot of time on this game. But anyway, right, let's just um, stay around the back of him here. Now him into a full sense of security. Brilliant engine sound, let's do a bit of boosting. Right, here we go. To the side. Oh, oh dear, I think we're going to come off. Let's come on, let's keep it on. Keep it on. Oh, we're off. See, that's that's a problem. Too, too confident there by half, I think. So I'm off the track. I see on the top of the screen across the frame, there's a crack going across, and that indicates um, how much damage that you've got. If it goes all the way across to the right, the cars are right off, and you can't continue any further. But look at that, he's already, he's already over a kilometre ahead, and I've only got two laps to get it back. Oh dear, that's a disaster. Right, we're really going to have to um, try and speed it along here. Really going to have to speed it along. Hmm. We're just boosting it all around this corner. I think we're going to have to. No sense in hitting the boost button when you're in the air, because that's just wasting it. Right, we've already, we've already caught him up by 200 metres, just down up slightly under 800. Power this across. That, re that really was bad play by me. At least, at least you can see what it's like to come off now, not just a perfect lap for someone that's practised forever. So this game came out in 1989, so, um, you know, getting on for 25 years at the time of recording. <laughs> and if this video is still here after another 25 years, well, we'll just update it to 50, but I doubt that will happen. If it has done, comment below. See if I receive the email still. <laughs> We've got some air on that one. Where we are, 500 metres with, on the last lap. Can I get him? Coming down quite quick. What do you reckon? Think we can get him? I can see him in the, um, the distance there. I think he's got to make a mistake of some description. Right, we've, got, we've got plenty of boosts. 14. Oh, come on, up 240 metres. See, I haven't made that mistake and, and gone off the track. I would have got him straight away. Now you might have noticed I've got quite a lot of stunt car racer videos um, already uploaded, but they are just all gameplay. There's no commentary on any of them. Oh, got to. See, I were taking him now. It should have been a four-lap race. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of um, video videos about stunt car racer, but all, all just plain uh, gameplay. I think it's best to do uh, one with commentary. Well, I've got the fastest lap anyway, so it's not all um, disaster. Four points. So looking at that, I only need a few points, and um, I'm going to win the league anyway. In fact, looking at that, I think if I win this race on the little ramp again against Roadhog and get the fastest lap, I think I go up. So that's what we're going to do then. See if we can do that, and then we'll just fast forward past the last race and um, we'll do some brief footage of all the other tracks. You can see what's uh, there, rather than watch me two hours going through the whole thing. Because I'm sure you've got much better things to do. Maybe watch one of my other videos, perhaps or something else. Okay, right, we'll just boost it all the way around here. Just lock on boost. I won't take my finger off it. As I think you've noticed, look, we're just showboating. Let's just keep boosting and boosting and boosting until we actually run out of any power. This is pretty dangerous, but hopefully I'll get a lead that's so big. Whoa! Oh my god. Maybe a bit cocky. I've gone up a bit high. Boosh! Yes, OK. So in one lap, uh, we pulled out a lead about 750 metres there, wasn't it? I'm sure we got the lap record already. 46.52, can't see him doing that. So all that's required is to win the race and not fall off the track. But the, still got some boosts. Probably lasts to the end of this lap, I think. Boost. Ooh, that, I bet that hurt. Boost it again. Look at that, I'm over a kilometre ahead. 1.4 kilometres coming up to... Whoop, whoop, whoops, whoops! Yes. I think if you did this in real life, I'm always saying this in these games, if you did this in real life, I think you'd be dead quite quickly, I think. How wide is the track, do you reckon? 10 metres wide? 
get two cars alongside each other. I think someone's off. Not a mile ahead. I've never lapped anyone in a free uh, lap race, but I, I don't know how long the um, the track is. Boosters just about to run out, just about, and they're gone. So we've got no boost left. But to be honest with you, he's not going to catch up 1.8 kilometres, is he? Let's see how let's see how much he does get by the end. We've got too far to go. Will he get below 1.8, or will I just hold the same distance? It's actually going up. Look, back, back up to 1.9. Zero boosts. Good old Jeff Crammond. Um, after this, of course, he um, went on to the rather magnificent uh, Formula One Grand Prix uh, for the company that's called Microprose by that point. So that, that was a fantastic game at the time, although it does look a bit dated now. Uh, he wins the race, so that should get me promoted in the league, I think. Um, two points for the win, one point for the fastest lap. Let's just make sure that is the case. Yes, there we go. There's me twice. Yep, wins the league. So in normal play, that'll put me up to um, the third division uh, to some super opponents. So this this humpback, I think we'll um, we'll fast forward past this. So I won't do the uh, whole race. And uh, as you see, I fast forward it through, and I'm wrecked straight away. I must have come off a few times. Kaboom! And that's uh, nowhere to end. Okay, so there we go. Promotion for N Jenkin. Woohoo! Crowd don't look very animated. All look a bit bored. That's a bit on someone else. So there we go. I would be on the next uh, round now with Higher Flyer and Big Ed, Foul DJ on the big ramp and the stepping stones. Uh, Daredevil went up to the Division uh, 2. Let's say Division 1. Right, let's see the tracks. Right, this is the stepping stones. We'll do, we'll do one lap of each. As I say, they get progressively um, uh, harder. Just a whiz round. So this is a, a tricky bit. First of all, it's a bit of a bit of a ramp, a gap. And I think the stepping stones are just around this corner. And this was the most trickiest bit of this track. You have to get the speed just right, or you'd fall down one of the gaps or overshoot. And you'll notice that I've played this before. There we go. Good, good, good. Takes it with uh, perfection, sort of. It's a shame. It's a shame this uh, he can't play this game online. This would be really funny. Can you imagine playing this with not get not against one person with eight people trying to knock each other off. That'd be awesome. Okay, now's the big uh, the big ramp. This bit of the straight's got some uh, bumps on it, but not a problem. I think the uh, this ain't the big ramp here, they've got some um, smaller ramps first of all. There we go. This one you have to be very careful you don't go off the uh, corner. Right, bigger ramps just around here, so need to get some speed or you won't make it. Hit the boosts. Go, 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 go. I'm sure this is bringing back memories to anyone uh, similar age to myself that had this. As soon as home from school, get it. There we go, you either made that or you didn't. And that made a difference whether you uh, won or lost the race, to be honest. The big ramp. Yeah, I could have thought that name. So lap done. Next, the high jump. Similar. And there it is, the high jump. Try and build up the speed. You've got to try and get over this centre column. Just about done. So it's a big ramp with a, with a pole in the middle, essentially. I don't know if it's possible to land on top of that and stop dead. Probably not. Succession of um, other jumps, but it's the high jump is the only uh, dangerous bit there. And if you're racing your opponent coming up to that, that could be uh, a little bit um, hairy. There we go. Now this part of the track's a bit evil as well because it's slightly angled. It's like bank, so you come at the wrong angle. That just pushes straight off the track. So that's another tricky bit with that. Uh, the roller coaster. That's potentially my um, favourite track, although all of them look a bit like a roller coaster. This one can actually be maybe a real one. Got to be really careful here, slow down at the right points where the other one is just blasting round. This is a this is quite a long lap of uh, this. I mean, look at the depth of that. I don't know what's going on. 
Now, have any, have any computer games dying for a remake? This has got to be it, isn't it? Can you imagine this on a on a next-gen console or a um, PC? I mean, every now and again I hear rumours to um, remake it. But um, I, I think some remakes are practically the same as this. I mean, the potential to create something actually awesome would be fantastic. As I say, imagine online racing about eight people on this. I think it'd be p pretty mad. Like the roller coaster, we're gradually going up. As you can see as well, um, if you're not careful, you don't go at the right speeds, that crack across the top there can um, make your car a wreck all, all pretty quickly. Coming around. This is near the end of the, uh, the lap here. Uh, final corner. Final corner. There we go. Straight up again. The ski jump. Now, this is a Division 1 track, and these two tracks are evil against the opponents. Get a lot of, um, a lot of damage straight away. Now, you really have to speed this one. We're not on it yet. You have to be a bit careful over this jump, I remember. Very hard to get right, because I think it just puts you right into the corner. You easily get bashed off by your opponent here. Now, this is the ski jump thing, I think, coming up. That's it. So there it is. It's a ski jump. Ready to get some air on it. Bam! Boosh! Yes. Like Eddie the Eagle. I don't think we would have made that one. A lot of potential to die there. And that's it's very short, that. And now this one's the drawbridge. So you come around this corner. These ramps here are going up and down. You've got to time it right. Now they stop as soon as you touch it. If you're going too high, as might have been the case here, it knocks you way into it. Oh, see, I've got a sudden holes appeared in the, um, the framework. So didn't land that very well. But at least I'm still on the track. Yeah, it goes up and down, up and down. Ideally, you want to get it at its lowest, so you can get a bit of distance on it. And then it's all a question of trying to preserve the car for the damage. You see that crack I've got there is almost three quarters of the way through. Um, the amount of times that I haven't managed to finish the race and it's turned into a wreck um, quite quick. This jump looks evil, but it's um, quite straightforward. There we go. As I say, this is the uh, the very last track. Um, an independent made some additional tracks on it, which you might be able to see in my um, other videos there, called uh, Stunt Car Racer TNT, the next tracks, slightly different colour, different vary, but just gives a bit extra um, play life to it. This is the last corner, and then there's a bit of a jump, and then we hit the, um, the finish line. So this is Stunt Car Racer. Uh, another Amiga game reviewed. We'll mix it about a bit. Might do some other computers as well. But brilliant. Goodbye.